always had a lot of fun with these ones because they make you look really smart when you get good at them. <laughs> y to the fourth minus 5y squared plus 4. So this really helped me to appreciate the abstraction of mathematics too. So this right over here is not quadratic, but if you think about it as pretending that the y squared was the variable, you could view that as sort of something squared minus 5 times something plus 4. I'm just using u as a generic uh, new variable there. So I got a u there, and notice how they're kind of the same, right? It's like the u is taking the role of the y squared. And what's amazing about noticing that, if you can actually notice it, is that this now becomes just a sort of simpler quadratic that we've done in the past. Right, u's. What numbers do you know that multiply to 4 and add together to be negative 5? Well, that would be minus 1 and minus 4. And then if we solve this by the zero product property, that would mean that u is equal either to 1 or to 4. So that's what I can do over on the right hand side, pretending that was the problem, but it wasn't the problem, right? The actual problem was almost this problem, but instead of u, we didn't have a u, we had a y squared. So the problem actually boiled down to being y squared equals 1 or y squared equals 4. So the work that was done over here in the red still applies to the problem that we did on the left, but we did it and now we don't need to redo the factoring. If you did want to see that factoring, I guess you could go like this and say y squared and y squared, because those are taking the roles of the u's. What numbers do you know that multiply to 4 and add to negative 5 are minus 1 and minus 4. And so you're getting either y squared equals 1 or y squared equals 4. You could factor further, but since I'm to this stage, why don't we just say here, whoops, wrong color. Why don't we say here that y is equal to plus minus 1, or y is equal to plus minus 4. So we're getting all four solutions to this problem is plus minus 1 and plus minus 4. This one deserves another example though, so you can pause the video if you wish, but there is a third example we'll be doing after this one. But uh, if you'd like to pause the video and try it, go ahead, but I'm going to do this problem. It says z plus 1 squared minus 20 times z plus 1 equals negative 64. So first, right off the bat, I'm definitely going to move that 64 over to the left hand side so it looks quadratic. So z plus 1 squared minus 20 times z plus 1 plus 64 equals to 0. Now the key to this factoring form, even though it's not quite, quite well this one is actually technically quadratic, but without foiling it out or distributing or doing anything, I'm just going to treat it like in that first place we have this z plus 1. I'm just going to pretend that that's my quote unquote x. Because then I just need to think of two numbers that might multiply to 64 and add to be negative 20. Of course, two numbers that add to negative 20 and multiply to negative 64 would be minus 16 and minus 4. So now, using what we've done with other zero product property problems, we can say that z plus 1 must be equal to 16, or z plus 1 must be equal to 4. And then we just have a little bit of arithmetic and algebra to do to solve those ones to say, well, so z equals 15 or possibly c equals 3. Notice that's much less work than distributing and simplifying and moving into another type of uh, polynomial, another quadratic. Okay, one more for you to maybe try on your own here. Try x to the fourth minus 8x squared plus 12 equals to 0. Assuming you paused and gave it a shot here, do you all know any numbers that multiply to 12 and add to negative 8? maybe negative 6 and negative 2, right? Now if it was an x squared we'd be good, but here we're not going to be stressed about it, we're just going to put an x squared in there. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth, this is factoring it quadratic in form. So the zero product property would now say x squared must equal 6, or x squared must equal 2, and therefore taking the square root property x would equal rad 6, negative rad 6 from the left, and from the right it would be rad 2, and it would be negative rad 2. 
So four solutions to this quartic, uh, quartic equation.